What is up, everyone? This is Frasier Boy bringing you another vibing with Frasier Boy. This is actually episode number three. And if you are new to this series, in this series, I have a set topic that I talk about and I just try to focus on and just get everything off my chest on the table and just talking to my subscribers and people who watch my videos and stuff like that. And so today in vibing with Frasier Boy, I want to talk about why I am done with Gears of War in general just like gears of war 3 gears of war 1 gears of war 2 but i don't want to say i'm done with gears of war um judgment and i don't want to say i'm not going to play it but i'm gonna let you guys know how i feel about it and what my plans are for gears of war judgment but first off i just want to start talking about um how i started off playing gears of war and the things i was looking forward to in gears of war 3 uh, upon the release date of Gears of War 3, I was like a well-known, like very, very known underground, Gears of War underground player. Um, I was looking forward to the drug that I had been missing for a while because I took like a little, took like a little break away from playing clan matches. And um, I was, I was just looking forward for Gears of War 3 just bringing me that drug that I missed. And that drug is like uh, an adrenaline rush and a rush and the excitement of playing clan matches, underground clan matches. Like, I was in love with playing underground clan matches and Gears of War 2. Uh, I feel like I really made a name for myself in Gears of War 2 and in the underground community. And I wasn't even really trying. It just all kind of fell in place. Um, and I got addicted to it. Like, I was so addicted to, like, clan matches and stuff like that in Gears of War 2. And then once the game start dying, dying out and um, people stop playing it, I just strayed off the other game as far as like um, Blackouts. I played Blackouts and MW2 for a while. And um, then I came back to Gears 2 and I played a little bit. But I was just, I was just so addicted to like being with real cool people like my friends. And I was just so addicted to like clan matches and winning and just really dominating and being in a death lobby talking shit like like I was so addicted to that and then when I um when Gears of War 3 came out my goal was just to keep the movement that I had started in Gears of War um to pushing and, and it's just like I, and I said like right before Gears of War 3 came out I, I got like the hype back in underground like I started underground is like a lot of trash talk and a lot of beef and just a lot of stuff that's going on just to keep the game fun just to, just to keep xbox fun in general and um i set the tone because i started beefing with everybody i started making like little videos like just to get underground hype and i think a lot of people appreciate appreciated that after the fact they knew what they knew what i was doing but when gears of war 3 dropped the game was just so different from gears of war 2 and a lot of underground players couldn't adapt to it so that kind of killed uh, that was like the first thing that killed underground gaming and uh yes it is there i'm not gonna even argue or get into that i'm gonna say that topic for another video and um that was like one of them that was like the first thing that killed it another thing that killed it was like um no death lobby like th that really really killed underground because you underground was all about a death lobby it, it just made it what it was like it just made underground another thing that killed underground in the beginning of gears of war 3 when everybody first started was um the man up rule and i really didn't and then to be honest with you guys i really didn't care to, after i got the adrenaline rush after i beat the teams in the beginning that i wanted to beat, i really didn't care to play underground no more i started looking at people like Terra and um arctic and the murder by numbers and um just like I, as I watch hype one and I said, that's what I want to do. I want to be, I want to travel with people who are really my friends. I want to travel and go and play hard. Like I wasn't addicted to the underground game type anymore. I, I wanted that feel. I wanted that GB feeling. I wanted that, that like, what is it? I wanted that like hype feel. I wanted that land experience. I wanted to be able to, stand up and point at somebody and be like get raped or something like that that's 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 what i was feeling that's what i wanted that's what i missed and um underground just just didn't offer that and then i felt like i really felt like a nobody like compared to these other guys that was like land players like 
people who had been pro in Gears of War 1 and 2. And I was like, these are the real, because I could stream and I wouldn't get that many views. But if I look at this guy streaming, uh, he got all these viewers and this and that. But I can get like a shitload of uh, YouTube views at the time. But it's like, I felt like, I still feel like a nobody because I was an underground player. So I wanted to step up to that next level, that big boy level. And I remember when I played like a, um, I was in an underground match and I just didn't care. Like it just hit me. Like I just seen people swinging at shotguns and stuff like that. And it just, I was like, this, this is not how the game's supposed to be played. If you don't know what underground gaming is, it's like 5v5s with no weapons on the um, map. And it's like everybody's, it, to me, I feel like it didn't take too much of skill because people would just run to one spot in the map and just start shooting. Like, it, I really felt like it didn't take any skills. And I had players on my team who was telling me, like, this shit ain't where it's at, Frazier. And then I was like, I feel you. But at the same time, I was an underground, like, dude. Like, that's what, that's all I knew. And I felt like I had a reputation to uphold. But underground just, like, slowly but surely died out. And um, so I my next goal and what I wanted to do with Gears of War was pursue my like professional level as a Gears of War player like I wanted to become like the best and like I wanted to just be good I wanted to start playing game battles but during this time when I started figuring out what I wanted to do in Gears of War 3 I lost my team and I lost a lot of players and a lot of friends around me so um what I did was I started off slow like any other player that's like that was like a free agent I I, I left I even left my own team became a free agent, just out there playing with different people, screaming, playing pubs, and rank hardcore rank by myself, rank execution. And I started running to other good guys that were real good. And I just started making new friends because I had deleted everybody off my list. And I ended up playing, like, different scrims with different people. I got on Twitter like a free agent would, and I started looking for teams to join. And I started um, just scrimming and stuff like that. And then... I started to find my skill level. I started to find like what type of player I was, like what I could do. I started realizing what I could do and what I couldn't do. And I started pushing myself in matches to do things that I knew I couldn't do. And I just started getting so much better at the game. And I was just so looking forward to like um, land events and stuff like that. And just, I said, you know what? I'm at the point now where I can hold my own and stuff like that. I'm gonna bring my team back. So I brought my team back, but I didn't do clan tags, and I started looking to recruit people. And that's around the time, like, I found people like Agent and Contributes and different people like that. And I was just scrimming with team. I was scrimming with my team, and we we had a solid three. Sometimes we'll have a solid four, but it was, like, things, like, some of the land events, like, the only land event that was really popping off when I finally got situated was the NJ Halos. And I feel like to go all the way for New Jersey for like $200, I feel like it wasn't worth it. And I feel like it just wasn't worth the, the time. And it's like, once I finally got situated, it's like, it's just NJ Halo. It's no MLG. It's no um, hype. And it's like, they wasn't even streaming NJ Halo. So I couldn't really make a name for myself in this this upper community in the Gears community like this, this pro scene in the, in the Gears community, I couldn't make a name, I can't make a name for myself now. So it's like, it just killed my drive when I figured out that I can't do this, can't make a name for myself. It's the, the tournaments, the, the online tournaments, like it's, it's not really people watching it, it's just like different stuff. It's like, it's nothing to play for now. I can get on and I can play GB to get my MLG rank down real low, but um it's it's just not it's just not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that drug, like I told y'all in the beginning, I'm looking for that rush. I'm looking for something to win. I'm looking to win. I'm looking to be able to win big and win for a reason. But uh I can say in the Gears of War three process I learned a lot that I would take over the blackout too. I learned how to meet people, I learned how to socialize with different people on Xbox. Cause I was a real like it's just being this group type of person. I wouldn't add nobody. Like I just stuck with my original friends. But um, I it's just different. Like uh, it's vi this vibing with Frazier by episode thirteen. I mean not thirteen, but three. I'm just like kind of caught up into my feelings about why I'm letting you guys know that I'm done with this game. Like in so many different ways. 
Um, I hope Judgment they have like a hype three or something like that. If I'm not if I'm not doing good in Black Ops, what I really doubt that I won't because I'm so dedicated and so focused like I was when I try to start finding myself as a Gears player. I really doubt that, but if I'm not as successful in Black Ops 2 and I see it's not really going nowhere, maybe I will come back to Gears of War and play Gears of War Judgment competitive. But if it get picks up by MLG, um, if, if 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 it's a hype three or something like that, I I, I really don't know. Um, the game just let me down in so many different ways, man, because I was chasing after something that I really wanted. And then it's like when I finally got there, when I finally got a team that could travel and stuff like that, and stuff like that, it just felt like that somebody just snatched it away from me saying, no, everything that you worked hard for, no no reason for it. Like, So I'm kind of done with the game, man. It's not even supported by the people who made the game. Like, I don't I don't know what to expect in Gears of War Judgment. I spent like the last four years playing Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3. So I really don't know what to expect. So um, anyway, this is Vibing with Frazier Boy, Episode 3. I still got a, a ton of Gears of War 3 gameplay. Maybe here and there I might upload some gameplay. Um, I got a lot of videos for Agent. Uh, that, that's my buddy. If y'all got, if you guys don't know, so um, be on the lookout for me on Black Ops Two. That'll probably be some of the next. We got a lot of more Halo videos, and I'll be having a ton of. Got so many ideas for Black Ops Two for commentaries and stuff like that. But I really would appreciate it if you guys leave a like. And I want to thank you right now if you came by my channel and you watched this video. And I would like it if you leave a comment. Share this video with somebody. If if you know that somebody know me and they know that I'm not uploading videos or they knew I stopped, well, let them know that I'm back uploading videos and that I'm here now to stay. Like, I'm getting, like, back addicted to upload, uploading videos. Like, I really do enjoy this. But sorry this video is so long, but I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks. This has been Frazier Boy. You guys are the shit, man. Peace out.